We good? Are we good, y'all? Yeah, it's clear? Okay, cool. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. We clear now? Just keep letting me know if it's clear. It's clear? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's clear? Okay, cool. Good. Let's go. What's up, man? Listen, y'all. Do I got a message for y'all today? Do I got a message for y'all today? Let me tell y'all something. So before I ended the live, I was talking to y'all about some of y'all don't even know that y'all ancestors are reaching and calling out for y'all. Some of y'all don't even know that there are extra... Hold on, hold on. Okay, let me close the door. Some of y'all don't even know that there are ancestors out there really calling on you, wanting to work with you. Your ancestors want to work with you. Some of y'all don't even know that y'all have these spiritual beings behind you, protecting you. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all been thinking, and, and, and I'm about to give you a reality shift y'all been thinking oh my god why is this happening to me and the universe and your ancestors are like little did you know we were actually protecting you let me say that one more time and i'm gonna start from the beginning some of y'all and y'all run up the lights y'all y'all run up the lights y'all run up the lights so y'all run up the lights right some of y'all have lost friends some of y'all have lost jobs. Some of y'all have don't even don't even go to the same places no more. Some of y'all are are upset because of the things that have changed in your life. But you don't even understand that the universe took these things out of your life to give you something better. So before you become upset because of the changes, that's the thing. We have to start being more open-minded to the changes in life. Just because something changes doesn't mean that it's changing for the worse. Everything happens for your benefit. Everything happens for your benefit. And the reason why I'm talking to you today is because I can tell that there's people on here that feel lost, that don't know what's happening. That don't know if they're headed down the right path. But let me tell you something. If you are on this live, you got to trust the unknown. You got to trust the unknown. I want to try to go back over here. I want to try and go back over here. I want to try and go back over here because I really want to write. I really want to write on my board. Y'all got to trust the unknown. Right? Hold on. Hold on. Cause I'm gonna write on this board. Y'all know what I y'all know how I am. I gotta write, man. I gotta write. Right? No, you didn't miss much. Right? Let me get my marker. Cause it's about to get on and popping. Let me tell you something. I want everybody to become familiar with the word sacrifice. Everybody comment the word sacrifice. Everybody comment the word sacrifice. Let me let me break down to you sacrifice for real. Because you know what I've realized? We give sacrifice a bad rap, not realizing that sacrifice is needed in order for us to achieve and receive what we want. There is a law. How many how many of y'all watch Full Metal Alchemist? So I'm going to write down sacrifice. I spelled that wrong, probably. Hold on. Hold on, let me get the marker. I'm at the, um, the rag so I can clean this off. Hold on, y'all. Don't even worry about it. 
Because, oh, today I feel, let me tell y'all something. Today I feel great. Today I feel on purpose. Today I feel great and today I feel on purpose. You ready? Let me bring y'all a little bit closer. Sacrifice. 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 In order for you, and we're going to break this down real good. We're going to break this down real good. All I need y'all to do is to continue sharing this live and continue running up the likes. Let's get as many people on here as possible. That's all I ask for you, okay? In order for you to have what you want, sacrifice must be made. Sacrifice must be made. And sometimes it's not always what you think. Sometimes the sacrifice is your old life. Boom. Old. New. You have to understand. You have to understand this. Energy is not created nor destroyed. So for you to have something new in your life. Old energy must be transmuted to new. So, for example, somebody said friends, okay? So, let's say these are your old friends, right? These are your old friends, right? These are your new friends. And this is you. I got to give you some, some help, right? This is you, all right? This is you, okay? Look, in order for you to have these new friends, something has to be sacrificed, right? You would think, oh, I got to sacrifice my time. I got to sacrifice. No, 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 no. Your time is not the problem. It's these people that are the problem. Because guess what? I'm about to explain this to you real good, so pay attention. I want you to screen record this, all right? You have to understand that these people are not going to like you. These new friends that you want. Some of y'all say, I want friends who are loyal. I want friends that have integrity. I want friends that are like this. I want friends that are like that. I want friends that are like, hold on. Hey! I want friends that are like this. I want friends that are like that. You got to understand, in order to become this person. Why is this dog breathing? Hold on. Hey! Chill out. Chill out. Got tell the dogs, chill out. Right? So... In order for you to have friends like this, you have to understand that these friends are not going to be attracted to who you are now. The reason why they're not going to be attracted to... Can y'all hear me though? Is everything clear? Besides this dog? Yo. You gotta chill out, bro. The dog gotta chill out. It's clear though, right? The dog just... Okay. Anyways. Like I was saying. Like I was saying. You okay, bro? Hold on, y'all. I might end up going back over there because this is annoying. I can't, happens all i be wanting to do all i be wanting to do y'all gotta understand how annoying this is all i be wanting to do is to get my message out all i be wanting to do is to get my message out and it be feeling like there's always something that's trying to stop me it's always some type of distraction y'all like that's crazy that's crazy y'all know how annoying that is Y'all know how annoying that is? It's like, you go from this room, you try to go live. Then there's this. Then you go here, you try to go live. Then... 
it, 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 it get annoying sometimes. But like I was saying, like I was saying, what I was talking about was I was saying that in order for you to have whatever it is that you want next, you have to be willing to sacrifice your old. Do you know, do you get what I'm saying? So basically, this is the best way to explain it. Your old friends are the people that keep you thinking a certain way. When you keep hanging out with certain people, you become like these people. In order for your new friends to come in, you have to be willing to sacrifice your old friends. The reason why you have to be able to sacrifice your old friends is because your old friends hold your old way of thinking. Your old friends hold the old way of holding things and dealing with things and how you react. Your old friends are the reason why you think lack. Your old friends are the reason why all these situations be occurring. They be like, your habits, because of your old friends. So when you understand that, you realize, you know what? This is why I have to sacrifice this old environment. This is why I have to sacrifice these old people. This is why I have to let go of these people. And I got I to gotta go. I got to go. I can't hang with y'all. I can't be with y'all. Because y'all are keeping me in a low vibration, which is stopping me from achieving and having the higher vibrational friends that I want. Is the live freezing for y'all? Is the live freezing for y'all? Let me know. Let me know. Is the live freezing for y'all? And I've just realized like I kept telling people like yesterday I was on live and I said somebody said a lot. Yes, just a little. All right. It's not bad. It's very now and then. All right, y'all. I'm I'm really like trying to keep it together because it's like it's annoying when you're just trying to do something and you just feel like like things are just kind of like stopping you from from doing what you want to do. We good? All right. Listen. Okay, so listen, let me finish what I was saying. I've realized, real talk, at some point, you have to make a decision. Like, this is some real shit that I'm talking about now. At some point, you have to make a decision. Am I going to become all that I can be? And sometimes that decision comes with other decisions. If you say, I want to become the best version of me, not everybody can go with you because not everybody is going to help you get there like let me tell you something when you decide to do better for yourself you will start to see the people that are stopping you from getting there you will start to see these people get triggered you will start to see these people say oh you think you for the this you're gonna go there why are you acting like that why do you think you better than us you think you this you think you that that is the universe telling you who is not supposed to be around you? Change is not an easy thing, y'all. Change is not easy. Change is not easy. But you got to know that change is necessary. Change is necessary. And these past couple of days, I've been so grateful. And even when neg negative things happen, I've still been showing gratitude because... Sometimes y'all be beating yourselves up so much. And little did you know, you beating yourself up for a little loss when in the grand scheme of things, you're still winning. Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Some of y'all will beat yourselves up for a little loss or a little mistake. And in the grand scheme of things, you're still winning. 
Why are you being so hard on yourself? Do you understand that some of y'all are being so hard on yourself that is changing your perspective about yourself? You're not even able to really see how powerful you are. You're not even able to see how powerful you are. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because you keep looking at your flaws. Because you keep looking at what you're doing wrong. Because you keep thinking about, I didn't do this. I'm not here. I'm not there. I'm not there. Not realizing that sometimes you need to take your perspective off of what's not working and look at how much you've actually done. This is why gratitude. Somebody said, oh my God, I remember you had like 10K. Oh, uh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand, dog, in order for you to win, you have to be able to count your wins. All you do is count your losses. Counting your losses is not going to help you. All it's going to do is drop your confidence. The reason why you can't even truly see your power is because all you're focused on is your losses. Do you understand that everybody really sees your wins and nobody really remembers your losses? You're like, oh, but I did this, I did that, but I messed up here, but I messed up here, but I messed up here. You made this little mistake. You made this little mistake. But then when you win, you don't even celebrate. Let me say that one more time. You make this little mistake. You make this little mistake and it's the end of the world. But when you win, you don't even celebrate. Why is that? Why is that? And let me tell you something. I've been so like... Like the divine has been talking to me these past couple of days. I've been so like connected with my ancestors and my ancestors have been telling me just focus on your mission y'all gotta focus on your mission like there are days when i beat myself up but why you ain't do this why you not here yet why you not this why you not that and i have to take a step back and realize ori you're 22 years old you're changing lives you're helping people you're doing this you have this many supporters People love to listen to you speak. You help people. You heal people. But sometimes it takes for you to put things in that perspective. And then the thing about it is that you have one negative thought. And you allow this negative thought to take over your whole way of thinking. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you got to stop being so hard on yourself. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you got to stop being so hard on yourself. You know why I say that? You know why I say that? I say that because you will never be able to truly see your worth if you keep amplifying your mistakes. And when you finally realize how powerful you are. You got to stop pretending that you don't know. When you finally know how powerful you are, you got to stop pretending that you don't know. Because some of y'all have this feeling that something's different about you. Some of y'all have this feeling like, man, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm different. I feel like I'm special. I feel like I'm meant for so much more. And if you have that feeling, it's because you are. It's because you are. For you to still beat yourself up, but then still feel like there's something different about you. There's something special about you. Let you know that you know the truth. Your ancestors have been waiting for you to accept your throne. Let me say that one more time. And I want y'all please to share this live because I got to get this message out to people. I got to get this message out to people. I want to work with Florite today. I'm working with Florite today. I'm working with Florite today. All right, I want, l let me talk to you. And I want y'all to listen. I want y'all to screen record. You think, you think being a chosen one is a joke. You think being a chosen one is a joke. You think being a chosen one is not serious. Until you go out into that world and you see how many people envy you. 
until you see how many people try to make you seem crazy for what you know until you realize how every time you try to speak your truth distractions come in somebody try to be negative somebody tries to cut you off somebody tries to stop you from speaking somebody tries to just stop you from shining why do you think that happens do you realize that the people that envy you believe in you the most and you keep thinking that this chosen one thing is a joke like, I want you to look me in my eyes when I'm talking to you about this. Because it is my responsibility with this live for you to wake up to your power. Some of y'all are magicians. I don't care. I'm going to speak it. I'm going to speak it. Some of y'all are magicians. Some of y'all practice great magic. Some of y'all are alchemists. Some of y'all are beautiful creators. Some of y'all be working that altar. Some of y'all be working that altar. Some of y'all know how to make things happen. But then you let one mistake get in the way and you make it question your power. My love, you have the power to make abundance show up. You are the creator in the flesh. And it's people like you that is going to create change in this world. It is people like you that's going to create change in this world. It's people like you that's studying meditation, that's studying chakras, that's studying spiritual medicine, that's studying plant-based healing. I don't know who needs to hear this because I just got this download. Whoever is dreaming of becoming an influencer and teaching people about spirituality, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. People need to know. People need to know what you know. Some of y'all understand plant medicine. Some of y'all know exactly which tea to drink, which help, which tea help this. Some of y'all know which fruit do this. Some of y'all know which vegetable do this. Make the video. Make the book. Make the YouTube channel. Make the Instagram. Make the TikTok account. Make it. Because let me tell you something. All it takes is for you to believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I say this is because imagine if I would have never got on TikTok. Imagine, see how many people that I'm influencing? Imagine if I would have never done that little thing as create an account. Imagine if I would have never hit that live button. Imagine if I would have never hit that post button. Every time I make a post, I inspire someone. Imagine what you can do. Do you understand that if you are on this live, for some reason, we are in alignment. We are in alignment. And God put me in this place to continue speaking to my people, to tell them, you got to help more people. The way for you to receive more abundance is to be more service of people. Be of service to people. Be of service to people. Not everybody you have to help, but you know who to help. You know who's worth your teachings. And service to many leads to millions. The more value that you bring, the more value you will receive. The more value that you bring, the more value you will receive. You have to understand. Your ancestors are counting on you. To recognize and remember who you are. Remember that your ancestors used to sit on thrones. Do not allow. Hold on. I had got a notification, y'all. My bad. I know it lagged out. I had got a notification. Do not allow what your ancestors have gone through to be in vain. I got to get a charger. Do not allow everything that your ancestors went through to be in vain.
right? Hold on, y'all. God is, I want everybody to comment. God is within me. I cannot fail. God is within me. I cannot fail. Somebody said nobody wants to hear me. Do you understand that before you can succeed, you must fail? Before you can fly, you must fall. People didn't want to hear me at first. I was speaking to like three, four, five, fifteen people on live at one point. People wasn't really listening. But you got to have a level of belief within yourself that you know eventually somebody will listen to me. You got to realize that if you know, if you know, and let me tell you something, let me tell you something. You get tested the most right when you're about to achieve everything. You get tested the most once you figure out who you are, you get tested the most. It's like, it's like, check this out. It's like the, the universe, like be working, like today you become money conscious. And then tomorrow you lose so much money. Today you say all your affirmations about money, abundance, this, that. And then tomorrow you lose money. You're like, why is this? Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Because you know that abundance abundance no matter how much money i may lose today i know that i'm abundant therefore i will always be taken care of you have to be a excuse me you have to be able to have faith through all situations even when things look like they're not working for you, you have to know that they are you see the test is in your faith man listen let me tell y'all something it seemed like, 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 and this is real talk, man. This, it, this is real talk. The more you create impact, the more you try to help people, the more you try to heal, the more you try to do what you do, the more people will try to tear you down. Tests are serious. Tests are serious, but guess what? It lets me know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It lets me know what I'm supposed to do every time. I get closer and closer and closer. Something try to stop me, but that does not ever win. God is within me. I cannot fail. People will try to try to bring you down. People will try to, to stop you from winning. People will try to do everything it can to stop you. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because the people that try to stop you are the ones that believe in you the most. The people that try to stop you are the ones that believe in you the most. Because why would you try to stop me if you think I'm going to fail? If you think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make it, why do you keep watching my page? If you think I'm not going to be successful, then why do you keep trying to get in the way? Wouldn't I just fail by myself? Why do you keep trying to stop me? Why do you keep trying to hurt me? Why do you keep trying to bring my confidence down? Why? Because... Something in you sees the success within me and you got to be able to see that. People show hate to you because they don't like how much love you receive. People show hate to you because they hope they can take all that love within you and turn it into hate. People do not like the fact that you have what they don't. I refuse to let any outside circumstances stop me from doing what God has told me to do. Still, I rise, man. That just, and I might get emotional on here because, man, my belief in my ancestors, my belief in what I do has gotten stronger. Every day, I'm focusing on making something that can inspire somebody. Because let me tell y'all something: y'all are the future. Y'all are the future. You healing yourself. I don't want to do this, man. I don't want. I've been. I've been crying like the past two days and it has not been sad crying. It's been just like gratitude because I feel something miraculous happening. 
I feel something special is happening. Something powerful is happening. I feel change happening. I feel it. I don't know what it is, but I feel like something miraculous is happening. So that's what I say. Like, you know, do not allow nothing to bring you down. Do not allow nothing to bring you down. Do not allow nothing to stop you. Please, if there's anything that you take from this live, like, I am begging you. I am begging you. I am giving up my information, my knowledge, my time, and my energy as an offering to you. For you to chase your dreams, man. For you to trace your, for you to chase your dreams. Whatever it is that you want to do. Some of y'all want to make music. Some of y'all want to be clothing designers. Some of y'all done. Come on. You got to do it. Because guess what? Let me tell you why. Because some of y'all just think that I'm just saying like, oh, chase your dreams. Let me tell you why it's important for you to chase your dreams. And chase your realities. The more you get on the journey of creating your life. And manifesting. And doing what you want to do. The more you will start to discover yourself, the more you will start to discover who you are, the more you will discover your ancestors, the more you will discover your purpose, the more you will discover your, your spirituality. Don't compete. You're the only one on your path. You're the only one on your path. And I just want to tell you, I am so grateful for y'all. And the only thing I need y'all to do is to create that song. You have to understand it's not always going to be exactly how you want it the first time. Like, listen, I make music. My, my music don't get 100,000 views every time. But you got to understand that there was a point in time where my music wouldn't even get 100 views. But it's because I kept believing in myself that started to create success. You want to know why you're going to be successful? Because you don't allow failure to come into your life. You want to know why you're going to be successful? Because you're telling the universe, I'm going to be successful. I refuse to fail. God is within me. I cannot fail. If y'all not following me here on TikTok, please make sure y'all give me a follow. I refuse to fail. God is within me. I cannot fail. Whatever I put my mind to, I will achieve. Everything I touch turns to gold. You got to remember that power within you. You got to remember how powerful you are. You got to remember who you are. You got to remember who you are. You are a piece of the creation. God did not fail to create us. So why would you think you would fail to create your life? You are miraculous. Something miraculous is happening to me. And when you realize that you are way more in control than you think. When you realize you are way more in control than you think. You will finally unlock your power. When you finally realize, when you realize how powerful you really are, you will then unlock your power. Somebody said, how do we connect with our ancestors? Everything is about intention. You got to first figure out where you from. Somebody said, I wish I could speak light into you and to people like you. I'm no different than you. We are the same. We are made from the same energy, from the same stardust, from the same God. We are no different. And that's the problem. That's another thing that y'all do. Y'all think that people have something that you don't. Y'all think that people have something that you don't. The same stardust. 
I got the same proton, protons, neutrons, electrons. I got the same molecules. I got the same atoms. I got the same organs. I got the same, the same senses. I got the same hands. I got the same feet. I got the same thing that you have. I got the same eyes, the same everything. You lack nothing. Y'all put yourself in a state of lack with your thoughts. Y'all put yourself in a state of lack with your thoughts. I can achieve whatever I want. I can have whatever I please. And it is already done. So shall it be. I say. Period. Somebody say you are not the same. I am the same as you. The only difference is knowledge. But that's why you're here. Because of knowledge. But guess how you acquire knowledge? Somebody said, Is your ebook still available? Yes, my ebook is on my website. Somebody said, Yo, Sticks, what you doing back at your old place? Man, I had to come back to where everything started. I had to. Rem mm, that just made me a little emotional. I had to come back to where it all started. Excuse me, y'all. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta close these up. Windows real quick. I had to come back to where it all started to remember how powerful I am. To remember that everything that I have created now was created in this place. I started here in the in, in this studio. But sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes we gotta go look at the things that we've accomplished. Sometimes y'all gotta go look at what you look like a year ago sometimes you got to think about where you was a year ago just to see how much progress you really made some of y'all be thinking i'm not making no progress i'm not getting better i'm not doing this i'm not doing that until you look at where you was a year ago you're not the same person and i'm really tired of y'all sleeping on yourself i'm really tired of y'all thinking that you can't achieve what you want to achieve let me tell you something if you can believe it if you can dream it it's entitled to you if it came into your mind to say, this is what I want to do, it's because God put it in you. Why would God give you a dream that you can't achieve? Don't overbelieve your greatness. What you mean by that? Because you might get blocked. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, but I want to be a model, but it's so hard. And, and why, look, why are you so focused on the cons? Do you understand that if you become failure conscious... You are going to become a failure. If you become success conscious, you are going to be a success. If you can believe you can achieve it. So I'm tired of you sleeping on yourself thinking that, oh, but that's so, but, that, but that. you're muted for the live. You're muted for the live. This man keeps talking about some, don't overbelieve your success. Don't be conceited. Get the fuck out of here. You're insecure. That's what that shows. You know, you don't want to allow anybody in this life to feel good about themselves. Because when people feel good about themselves, it makes you feel insecure. I don't want you speaking on this chat. I don't want you speaking on this chat because you're going to learn. You can watch it, but you're not going to speak. Because I refuse for you to sit here and plant in people's head you're being conceited the moment that they're finally starting to believe in themselves and you got to understand that right there that i just showed you is life the moment you start to believe in yourself somebody's coming be humble don't be conceited don't be this don't be that when i was insecure you wasn't telling me to be confident When I was insecure, you wasn't telling me to be confident. But now that I finally love myself, now that I finally believe in myself, you want to bring it down because it makes you uncomfortable. Your comfortability has nothing to do with us. And that's what you got to tell people. People will get uncomfortable because you're getting confident. Mm. People will get uncomfortable because you're getting confident. But that has nothing to do with you. That is their problem. Because guess what? If somebody is confident, I'm going to be like, okay. 
That's what I'm talking about. Let me let me believe, let me get myself together. Let me believe in myself. But me telling people to believe in themselves makes you say don't over believe in yourself. Whatever you believe is right. If you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. Period. That's wild for somebody to think. Negative energy is no longer allowed here. We here, we believe in ourselves. No more allowing people to make us feel small. No more allowing people to dim our light. Those days are over. I'm telling you, chosen ones are emerging. Something is happening. Something is changing. This energy is evolving. I'm getting chills thinking about this. I'm telling you, within the next couple of months, you're going to start seeing so many changes in your life. I overbelieve in myself every time, 10 times over, because I know I will succeed. And you got to understand if you can get from where you was a year ago and be where you are now. Some of y'all don't even understand y'all, y'all inner child, y'all childlike self. The 13 year old, you would be so proud of you right now. I know 13 year old me would be so proud. Oh my God, you got, you have 400,000 people that follow you. Oh my God, you, you're famous on TikTok. You help people, you teach people and you make music and your music inspires people and your music is spiritual. Oh my God, you're doing everything and you have a crystal shop. And if y'all want to go ahead and support my crystal shop, y'all can go ahead and check it out. The link is in my bio because I did that. Sometimes you got to give yourself credit. You got to give yourself credit. Y'all don't give yourself enough credit. And it shows in the way that you walk. Did that song drop on my YouTube? On my YouTube. Because guess what? Me and you are going to create a change in life. Because guess what? You're going to create. I'm going to create. People are going to see your creations. People are going to see my creations and people are going to be inspired and then they're going to create and their their creations are going to inspire people. Click the link in my bio to check out my crystal shop and my YouTube. We just added beautiful Malachite onto the website. The Malachite is from Congo. First thing first, I will say too, is my crystal shop is, no, is, is like no other. I've been very humble with my crystal shop and humble means of low modest. No more. When people get my crystals and they meditate with my crystals, and they get that ebook and they learn how to meditate correctly, their lives change. Period. And I'm tired of acting like I don't know that. People come to me and say, Yo, man, your ebook really helped me. How did my ebook help you? It made me aware of how I was thinking. It made me aware that I was thinking in lack. It made me aware that I wasn't, wasn't thinking positively. It made me aware that I wasn't visualizing. Because that's my purpose. Some people who never even learned about crystals got their first crystal from me. And because they got their first crystal from me, guess what happened? They started to learn about chakras. They started to learn how to meditate. Because guess what I tell people? I say, in order for the crystal to work, what you got to do? You got to meditate with it. So now guess what I'm getting you to do? Meditate. You know what happens when you start meditating? That anxiety goes away. That overthinking goes away. That depression goes away. The intrusive thoughts goes away. I mean, that's 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 at least what I've seen happen. That's at least what I've seen happen. I've seen people's lives change based off of the information that I've teach. And I'm like, man, I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. We gonna get to chakra soon. You gotta let me first do all my studies on it before I teach you. I gotta study something deeply before I teach you. So I'm just like, in my head, like these past couple of days, like I have not allowed no adversity stop me.
No, I do not read the Bible. I was about to, I ain't gonna lie, I was about to mute you until I saw your caption and you said spiritual. I do not read no Bible. Don't ask me about no Bible. I don't care about the Bible. Because when you understand about your ancestors and my ancestors, you'll realize that that book that you're talking about has stopped a lot of my people from knowing who they really are. Period. Get her out of here. 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 You know what I'm saying? Imagine your people being stripped away of their own spirituality. Imagine your people being stripped away of their own studies, their people, where they're from. Imagine. I refuse. I want to know, know more about my people and where I'm from. Have you studied the Emerald Tablets? I've been reading it. I've made some videos on it too. Don't be sad about it. Don't be sad about it. Don't understand this. Understand this. If we can be on TikTok Live talking about how that book is a lie, you have to understand that we've already made so much growth. You get what I'm saying? For us to be on live and all talking about that book is this, that book is that. We've already made growth. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love your conscience. I agree. I'm a believer of God and do agree that the... Just, here's another thing. You have to understand that a book, a book... Like some people think that if you're not Christian, you're not a believer of God. That makes no sense. You tell people, oh no, I'm spiritual. Oh, so you don't believe in God? What? The amount of people come on this live and be like, you don't believe in God? Where did you get that from? Where at what point of my whole talking did you get? I'm I don't believe. That's the biggest thing I believe in. Like nobody is ever gonna make me stop believing in myself. Nobody's gonna make me think that I can't achieve what I want to achieve. I don't care how oversaturated a market is i don't care how many music artists this that has nothing to do with me god is within me i cannot fail god is within me i cannot fail no i'm not a hebrew i am african i'm african i'm not a hebrew Know thyself. Know thyself, y'all. Know thyself. Know yourself. Know that nobody can stop you. Like, y'all got to stop allowing people to give you so many opinions, too. Some of y'all already be having the answer, but you allow what somebody else got to say to stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. Yo, all right. I'm not liking your energy. I knew I didn't like your energy. You gone. You muted. You bought everything. I knew I didn't like your energy. I knew I didn't like your energy. She, this girl going to come out here questioning me. Just questioning me. Questioning me. And you're not even questioning me to, 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 to learn. You're questioning me to like, okay, but like, okay, dude, what do you believe? You got to go. Bye. If you're not helping me help other people, you can't be here. If you're not here to learn, if you're not here to get more love in your heart, you cannot be here. Negativity is not allowed here. I don't do none of that. I don't do none of that, man. 
Either we here to grow, either we here to learn, either we here to help people, or you not gonna be here at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I work too hard to be out here trying to inspire people. I work too hard to be out here trying to help people for you to try, for other people to try to come in. What I told you, I told y'all, when you are a chosen one, people will try to trigger you. People will try to test you. People will try to test you. Be like, yo, but but then, then why you do this? Then why you do this? I just want to know why you believe. Like, why? Like, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. Why does my beliefs, why, why, and I know y'all done dealt with that, where y'all got y'all own beliefs and somebody be like, okay, then explain this, then explain it, and they're like, but I just want to, that ain't none of your business. Your lack of belief has nothing to do with me. They come on here and ask you, okay, then, then, then how you believe in this? How is God within you? How are you, how is God, how I'm God? How I'm, and it's like, bro, listen here. You're not trying to learn. My belief's not up for debate, period. I hate when people do that. Why are you trying to debate with me? Like this is an extracurriculum activity. We are not in ninth grade. We're not in high school. I'm not here to debate. I'm not here to debate. They're so fed up. You know what I'm saying? And I, I and I am fed up. I'm fed up with people not believing in themselves. I'm fed up with people not knowing who they are. I'm fed up with people not believing what they know to be true to themselves. I'm fed up with people acting like they don't know. You know you're different. You know something's different about you. You know you spiritual. It's going to take for you to truly believe that, to know. It's going to take for you to believe that, to know. And I'll just be like, Put trust in you, not book. Are you sold out of the necklace you had on yesterday? I can never find it on the site. Yes, that's that necklace was not on the website. But you can get Malachite on the website. We just added new Malachite on the website. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. So this Malachite is from Congo. This Malachite right here is from Congo. This Malachite is from Congo. Very high quality Malachite. Let me show y'all the video. Hold on. Like, I want y'all to see this. Can y'all see the crystals in it? Somebody said, what does Malachite help with? So Malachite is great for wealth. Let me tell y'all something. We only have like three of these left. Maybe, maybe, hold on, let me see. We got a few of these left. These were very hard to get and they are rare. Let me tell you something. These are not something that you can just be like, hey, I need Malachite. No, 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 no. So when I tell you, when I tell you I'm putting something up on the shop that is very powerful, you got to know that what I'm telling you is right. These are from Congo. All right. Malachi can be a powerful ally for those waiting for their reality to change. Congo sold it, so Congo got the money to begin with. Malachi can be a powerful ally for those waiting for their reality to change. The link is in the bio, click Crystal Shop. It reminds us we have come here to co-create with the universe and help in identifying the steps necessary to bring dreams, visions, and wishes into physical reality. This is a great stone for luck and a great stone for wealth. You have to understand that if you've never worked with Moldavite, Malachite is the crystal that you work with before Moldavite. Malachite has been around since ancient Egyptian times. Yo daddy, your granddaddy, your, 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 your daddy granddaddy, your, your granddaddy granddaddy. Your ancestors were making jewelry out of this. 
this crystal has been around for so long that they used to grind up malachite and wear it as eyeshadow. Let me see if I can find anything. Look, look, look. Malachite on the tomb. Malachite. Come on now. Malachite. Malachite. Y'all be thinking. Uh, and, and, and they used to break it down like this. They used to break it down like this and wear it as makeup. Wear it as makeup. We also added a whole bunch of new bracelets on the website. What else we added? We added this clear quartz. Where is that? Look at this. Clear quartz is one of the crystals that is used in your technology. How many of y'all... How many of y'all are actually into crystals? How many of y'all collect crystals? That's amazing green eyeshadow. I bet, right? Can I get this? Somebody say, can I get this on a necklace? It's not on a necklace. My crystals were stolen. Trust me, anybody that stole your crystals definitely won't be getting good energy from it. Somebody said, I can't afford it. You're never going to afford it thinking like that. So, y'all talking about y'all crystals, okay? What crystals do y'all want to add to y'all collection? What energy do y'all want to add to y'all collection? Some of y'all, I know y'all probably like, man, I need some crystals for wealth. How many of y'all want crystals for wealth? I name y'all my favorite crystals for wealth. How many of y'all need crystals for wealth? Need more chevron. Well, you just got some. Me. Okay, look. I'm about to name them. I'm about to name them the abundant crystals, right? Look, hold on. Hold on. And these are all on the website. So look. I'm about to name all of them. All right? Hold on. I'm about to name all of the I'm about to name all of the crystals for wealth. I'm about to name all of the crystals for well. Hold on. And the thing about it is too, like, look, let me show you. Let me show you. So look, moss agate. And let me tell you why. I'm going to really break this down for y'all. Moss agate. Okay, let's start with moss agate. Because I'm about to teach y'all. Can everybody say I'm listening? Can everybody say I'm listening? Because I'm tired of y'all getting these crystals and not really knowing what they do. As a person who is very passionate about these crystals, as a person that these crystals that I'm telling y'all about is one of my favorite crystals, y'all got to show some respect to my crystals for real. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. Because if I ever, if y'all ever walk up to me with a bunch of crystals on, I say what that one is, and you don't know what it is, me and you got a problem. Me and you got a problem. I've been searching for some raw malachite like that, so I had to get it. Trust me, you're going to love it. As you can see, I'm rocking this big old malachite on my neck, okay? But like I said, if y'all have these crystals on y'all on your arms, on y'all, if it's fake, if it's low quality, and you don't know what it is, me and you got a problem. You got to understand that crystals are also a practice of our ancestors. Crystals were used as jewelry before Cuban links was made. Do y'all understand that? Crystals and gemstones, the rubies, the emeralds, this is what we consider as a show of wealth. When they sat on that throne, how much it shipping? I'm currently in the UK. It could be about $14, right? I noticed some people spiritually pocket watching. Any tips? Get you a protection crystal. Get you an altar. Get you a black candle, girl. You better use your magic. You tripping. Malachite is great for an evil eye also. So if you feel like people are sending you negative energy, 
Malachite is a great crystal to protect you from evil eye. People will always speak on you. You got to protect your energy. But you also got to understand not to give these people any energy. Because the moment that you give these people any energy, you start to entangle your energy in them. Okay? So let's continue. Moss agate. We are going... Everybody comment moss agate. I, I need y'all to learn. I need y'all to learn. I need y'all to learn. Everybody comment right now, moss agate. Everybody comment right now, moss agate, moss agate, moss agate, moss agate. Okay, cool. Let me tell you something. I use moss agate for business. So wherever I have my business, at, I always place moss agate on the desk. Okay? You have to know that if I am going to use crystals, do not sit here and just place your crystal in one spot and let dust get on it. You're, you're waste of time. That's a waste of time and a waste of money. Do not get a crystal if you're only going to let it sit there with no intention, no energy, no love. When you get a crystal, the place that you put it in is where it's going to affect most. So if you get a money crystal, you need to put that money crystal on your wallet. You need to put that money crystal, maybe put it where you do work at. So if you work at a desk, put money crystals on a desk. So moss agate is the crystal that we're going to talk about, okay? Somebody said, can you show moss agate? I'm not at my crystal shop, but let me see if I have any on me. Let me see if I have any on me. I don't got any moss agate on me. I don't have any moss agate on me, but I have pyrite on me, all right? But let me read to y'all moss agate, okay? So look, let me read to y'all moss agate. I hope y'all ready, okay? Y'all ready? Moss agate. Moss agate. Listen, because I'm teaching y'all. So now you know oh, what crystals I need to get. Okay, listen. Moss agate is a great chakra for the heart. Okay, it, it helps with prosperity, success, abundance, healing, fertility, protection of the earth, creativity, friendships, and finding a compatible lover and confidence. Okay, look. She just said it. I don't know if it's a she or a he. It's a she. Y'all, I really recommend Moss Agate because I be getting new gigs left and right. Moss Agate is a stone of opportunity. So look, in addition to the generic healing properties of Agate and Chalcedony, Moss Agate is a stone of new beginnings. It refreshes the soul and enables you to see beauty in all you behold. Moss Agate reduces sensitivity to weather and environmental pollutants. It attracts abundance and the ability to get along with others. It also gets you out of stagnation. Moss agate. So for any of y'all that have been feeling stagnant, moss agate. Next, we're going to talk about pyrite. Pyrite is another one of my favorite stones for abundance. Pyrite was actually con con like considered gold at first. Back in the ancient days... People thought pyrite was actually gold. Imagine the energy around that. Right? So pyrite is a stone that is used for wealth and abundance. And it combines the principles of feng shui with the energy of the gold pyrite. Pyrite was dubbed fool's gold for the striking resemblance to gold. For centuries, pyrite has been viewed as a symbol for money and good luck. Pyrite is good for intelligence, mental stability, logic, creativity, psychic development, learning and perception, and channeling abilities. Mm. Mm. That's pyrite. The next abundance crystal is citrine. So citrine. We all heard about citrine, right? How many of y'all know about citrine? How many of y'all know about citrine? Right? Everybody know about citrine. You say, I always keep it on me. I got it on me. I got it on me. Everybody say, got it on me. Everybody comment right now, I got it on me. Like, y'all, if you got your comment, I got it on me. Comment. Comment, I got it on me. Let them know, I got it on me. Yeah. So, exactly. Citrine. So citrine increases creativity. Citrine 
protects you from negative energies right citrine activates your intuition citrine helps you to manifest abundance and wealth and prosperity it is also encourages a positive attitude and helps with confidence somebody says spell it the link is in my bio click crystal shop if y'all want to get it too citrine citrine and then we talked about malachite right malachite citrine moss agate those are all great for well now this is what you can do now if some of y'all are looking to get crystals based off of your energy you can always use your zodiac sign too Dang, y'all be selling these things out. So look, this is a good necklace for protection that some of y'all probably don't even know about. Black tourmaline and red tiger's eye. Black tourmaline and red tiger's eye. Hey, I'm selling my farm. What stone can I put by the sign? You can either use citrine or moss agate citrine moss agate or pyrite so look i'm gonna show y'all with this okay somebody said what's for libra okay so if you're a libra you can get lapis lazuli all right you can get labradorite if you're a libra you can get labradorite if you're a libra you can get moonstone i wonder if we even have some moonstone on here you can get moonstone oh moonstone not 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 in that one you can get moss agate you can get clear court this is for libra libra moss agate for virgo if you're a virgo you can search it up in here too if you're a virgo this is what you can get you can get moss agate lapis lazuli citrine garnet lapis lazuli citrine citrine amazonite so for virgo you can even get amazonite you can even get Amazonite. Somebody said Pisces. Hold on, y'all. Look, somebody said Pisces. So if you're a Pisces, Lapis Lazuli, Selenite, Blue Sandstone for y'all Pisces because y'all so emotional. Blue Sandstone meaning completes an excellent stone for connecting with spirit guides. Worn as a pendant necklace every day, blue sandstone healing properties can provide you with the motivation, confidence, or willpower you need to start a new chapter in your life. Also, they said aquamarine. Aquamarine for Pisces. Aquamarine, this beautiful piece right here. This beautiful piece right here, aquamarine. Yeah, y'all, water signs, very emotional. For Taurus. For Taurus. Lapis lazuli, rose quartz, carnelian, carnelian, rose quartz, lapis lazuli. Also, if you are a Taurus, I also recommend look up wealth on here. Anything wealth, y'all can get. Definitely malachite for Taurus. Somebody said Capricorn. And make sure y'all get this. It's first come, first serve. These things sell out very fast, y'all. Capricorn. Look like we already sold out on some lapis. I, I done put Capcorn. So ain't nobody gonna tell me I put Capcorn. Capricorn. For Capricorn, Smoky Quartz, Black Tourmaline Quartz, Tiger's Eye. Look, so Tiger's Eye for, for Capricorn. <coughs> These is for this one is definitely for Capricorn. So if you are an empath, this is great for protection. Look, y'all sold out that tiger's eye. Boom. This is for my Capricorns. Y'all can even get a matching necklace. Look, the bracelet with the necklace. All right. Scorpio. Come on, let's keep it going. Move fast now. Y'all already know how this go. This thing sell out fast. So let's go. Let's go. Scorpio. Smoky quartz. Fire quartz. Obsidian. Obsidian. Also black tourmaline. I can own these crystals if I'm not a Capricorn. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So I can't make payments. Baby, come on now. 
I think there's after, there should be some after pay or shop pay or something. There should be something on there now. I don't know. There should be something on there. All right. So we said Scorpio. So for Scorpio, Malachite. All right. And we can even look it up. So look, look, look. This is how you could do it too. If you if you all know. So look, you look up crystals for Scorpio. All right. Look, look, look. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. You see it? You see it? Look, look, look. You see that? These are all the crystals for Scorpio. So they said amethyst. Okay, you go, okay, cool. You say, okay, cool. They say amethyst. All right, bet. Let me look it up. Amethyst. Boom. Look at all that. Amethyst. 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 That's for Scorpio, right? What's the next one? Aquamarine. Oh, okay. Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Don't worry. I got you, Aquarius. Don't worry. I got you, Aquarius. Aquamarine. What else? Citrine. Y'all done saw citrine already. This for Scorpio. I'm showing y'all everything. Citrine. Look. The citrine rings. The citrine rings. And one thing about this crystal shop, my love, you will never have to worry about quality. You will never have to worry about quality. All right? And then I, what else? Red Jasper and Black Tourmaline. All right? Somebody said, what's good for trauma? Boom flower agate so if you're dealing with trauma i really recommend flower agate look at this y'all look at this oh that's probably why y'all don't know about this we got to put another picture look at that this is great for for um you know what i'm saying what was the next sign what was the next sign L somebody said what was the next sign leo look, let me show you how this worked let me show you how this worked leo look carnelian oh okay carnelian for leo also i'm gonna put y'all onto one sunstone sunstone is a low-key one for for carnelian so look carnelian you got the mini sphere what is carnelian good for creativity sociability individuality memory rebirth reincarnation past life recall happiness self-esteem carnelian restores vitality and motivation and stimulates creativity it dispels apathy and motivates for success. Boom. What else? Citrine. We already talked about that. Tiger's eye. Labradorite. Boom. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Because y'all need to know how to be quick. Because these people will sell this out on you. If you don't know, now you know. Sticks and crystals are some of the highest quality crystals you can ever have. Want me to show you proof? Look at the flash. Look at the flash. Come on, man. Look at the flash. Come on, man. This is great for wisdom seekers. Meditate with this necklace on. All right? What else for Leo? Also, we was talking about sunstone. If you don't know, now you know, baby. Sunstone is great for fame. So my Leo, my attention-seeking Leos that want to be famous, sunstone is a crystal that you want. This right here is the influencer stone. This right here is the stone of fame. Look. The, the, in Greek mythology, the sunstone crystal is a representation of, of Ra, the sun god. The Egyptians believed that this stone fell from the sun during a solar eclipse and was a gift from Ra. Sunstone is a design representation of the healing of masculine within us. Look at this, man. Leadership, finding your personal power. What was we talking about today? What was we talking about today? Sagittarius. I know definitely for Sagittarius, it's Malachite. For Sagittarius, you got Labradorite. You got clear quartz. We got some clear quartz on here. We just added some beautiful clear quartz. Look. Boom. 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 Look at that. Y'all like, come on, man. Y'all gonna have to listen. If you ain't gonna buy, that's okay. But at least give me my credit for these crystals. Y'all can't lie. This come on now. Listen. Listen. You ain't got to buy nothing, but you can give me my credit, my love. These crystals right here are sickening. Real talk. Like, I'm very proud of these crystals. I'm very proud of these crystals. This crystal is also known as the master healer, as it tends to amplify energy thoughts and the effect of crystals that are in close proximity to it. So whatever crystal you bring around this crystal... 
it will amplify that energy so imagine bringing this crystal around a money crystal come on man this stone draws off all negative energy and helps to neutralize any background radiation what else for sagittarius malachite 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 sunstone sunstone in the ground near las vegas you said fame crystal makes sense huh congo boom we talked about this one boom did you get more malachite yes we did it's right here boo all you gotta do is go on the website and search up malachite come on now what else y'all was looking for what else y'all was looking for they said aquarius okay cool let me show y'all because aquarius said they couldn't find any of their crystals y'all be overthinking crystals for aquarius look aquamarine labradorite amethyst also look sodalite amazonite i also recommend like anything blue look let's just put throat chakra look up throat chakra that's how y'all gonna find for pisces look also today i learned fluorite is the genius stone Where can I find your ebook? So if you go on my website, which is the link in the bio, click Crystal Shop, and you scroll down, you'll find my ebook. Or what you can do is you can even search up. Let me see if, if you search up ebook. Look, these are two of my ebooks. These two are my ebooks. This one, now y'all sleep on this one. This ebook actually comes with an audio book, an audio tape that you can listen to every day and meditate to it. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of what this looked like too. Let me show y'all what this look like too. My 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 um my my um what you call it? Where is that? PDF. Oh, here it is. So I want to show y'all what this ebook look like so y'all can see. This is uh, the new ebook y'all didn't know about. Aquarius. What is the website? The link is in the bio. Click Crystal Shop. So look. This is my affirmations ebook. Just so y'all can see, this is my affirmations ebook. And it comes with an audio tape. It comes with an audio tape. So you can listen to this over and over and over again. And it's gonna help you reprogram your mind. This this ebook teaches you why affirmations are so powerful. Boom. So we was talking about Aquarius. In order to find the crystals for Aquarius, I recommend looking up throat chakra. So Amazonite is great for Aquarius. Lapis lazuli is great for Aquarius. Ruby and Kyanite. All right, so look. Ruby and Kyanite is a very complex stone that helps one ground and channel higher vibrations into this earthly plane. Somebody said Libra. Come on now, what's the next zodiac? Libra, Green Aventurine, okay. Green Aventurine right there, I think. Is that the Oh, that's the only Green Aventurine we got? Yep, that's the only Green Aventurine we got. Aquamarine, they got Green Jade, Tourmaline. So we already did aquamarine. They said tourmaline. This is for Libra. Oh, why I'm spelling stuff wrong? Have a good one, Mosey. Tourmaline. So you got black tourmaline, and then you got pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline is really good for the heart. Virgo. So for Virgo, Moss Agate. Also, Lapis Lazuli should definitely be on this list. But for Moss Agate, I mean for Virgos, Moss Agate, New Beginnings, Protection, also good for money, Tiger's Eye, Unikite, Fluorite. Oh, wow. Dang. Oh, y'all sleep. Oh, y'all sleep. Look at that bracelet. 
Look at that bracelet. Y'all see that bracelet? Citrine, Unikite. We did. We just looked at Unikite too, I think. Oh no, we looked at Ruby and Kyanite. Unikite. All right. Hold on for the restart this live. <laughs> 